Hey y'all, so I'm back with an update on the things that I'm doing in order to get pregnant after the depo. Um, a little background on me. Um, we had our daughter three months ago on January 26th. She was still born. Nothing was wrong with her. Nothing was wrong with me. I got the depo while I was in the hospital. Uh, my side effects were continuously bleeding. I had really bad, like my skin was really dry, very crackling. I had panic attacks. So once I realized that I can do a little something about the depo being out of my system, I started detoxing with uh, a regular detox from Yoji T. I think it's Yoji, it's Y-O-G-I. And then I did the everyday detox after that. After that I did green tea, then I did dandelion, then I did peppermint, um, and then I did raspberry. I um, decided that I wanted to take some natural herbs. Um, starting off, I took, I started off taking Vitex. I think that's how you say it. I got the Nature's Way. All of these for, are from GNC. And I take two of these three times a day, so I take six a day. And that's what it pretty much says on the back of the bottle as well. This is 400 mg. And Biotex is supposed to actually um, kind of get you to ovulate. Um, because without ovulation, you can't have a period. Without a period or ovulation, you can't have a baby. And this is what the capsule looks like. I actually can't swallow pills, so I open this and then I take it. It tastes like a fragrance, like if you drank jasmine tea, it's like a fragrance like that. And then after taking this, which is Vitex again, I started taking um, Dong Quay, I think that's how you say it. I started taking that and I take two of these three times a day and that... Um, that is not said on the bottle. I actually did some research online. It might not be good for some people, but I tried it. At first, I started off with one, and then I went up to two. So I didn't just jump into two. This is how it looks. I do the same thing I did with Vitex with this, is um, open it up and take it because it helps blood flow to the uterus, and it improves the hormonal balance as well as Vitex, and it tones the uterus. And so I'm pretty much trying to get ready for a baby. So I'm trying to ovulate with Vitex. And Don Quay is what um, induces a period. But with all with the Vitex and the Don Quay, I also take Milk Diesel Sport. I take this. Um, it was on sale at GNC as well. It tastes like powdered milk. That's how it looks. I do the same thing as open it. And this is supposed to help detox your liver. I take it three times a day. And this is... Um, 200 milligrams. I take that three times a day, and it's supposed to help detox the liver, and that also helps with getting the depo hormone out of my body. And it's not good to take it while you're on depo. The 26 is the exact three months of us uh, of me having the depo. So after taking those, I do take these the ovulation test. I do have the strips as you see. I've had the white strips that has the line but the problem with those is that with me the line shows up dark sometimes. That doesn't mean I'm ovulating but it shows up dark sometimes and I think that's because you always get a surge, a LH surge, hormone surge in your body and some of times mine is light so I'll be thinking I'm ovulating but I'm not. So I got this which is the ovulation test um, I'll do a review on this once I actually get a positive. That's if I ever do. And so I'm going to do a review on that because um, if it works, I'll let you know. But this is how it looks outside of the box. And what happens is you stick, you pee on the stick, you put the end in here, and we put it in here on the screen it'll show up it'll blink for like 20 40 seconds and then it'll show up a circle or show up a circle with a smiley face and that means in 48 hours you're close to being pregnant so i take evening prim oil prenatal 
Donquay Vitex. I think that's how you say it, Donquay Vitex Milk Diesel. So it's five all together that I'm taking. And, you, you know, this is your own preference, so you don't have to do it. I take Milk Diesel, Don Quay, and Vitex in the morning. I take, Vi I take Don Quay first, um, Vitex. I take them on an empty stomach because when I was doing my research, they said that's the best time to do it and the best thing to do with it. And um, because it communicates with your pituitary gland. So I take those first. Then I take um, Milk Diesel. Um, and then... I got a new tea, Mother to Be Yoji's Woman Tea. I got that, and I take this in the morning as well. Um, I take this three to four times a day, and this is to prepare my body. This is pretty much all the teas that I was taking before in one. Um, the only thing that it has differently, other than the raspberry, peppermint, and dandelion, it has nettle, I think that's how you say it, fennel, and cardamom. Yes, so I take this, like I said, um, every morning, and then um, I take my prenatal with me to work. Once I take my prenatal with me to work, I wait a little bit, and then I take that because I would have eaten. Um, then when I get on my break, I take the same pills. I take two Don Quay, two Vitex, and one Milk Diesel. No, yeah, and one milk diesel. I'm going to start doing the milk diesel in the afternoon, too. And I do the tea, but I wait until after I eat to drink the tea. And so, pretty much, this is what it looks like that I take um, three times a day. Um, while on Don Quay and Vitex, I actually started having cramps. I had um, three, four cases of discharge. Um, the usual getting off a of depot discharge, which is like a brownish reddish. Um, it's just like, just say you forgot to put your pad on and you got one spot of blood on your panties. That's pretty much what it looked like. After that, I got two times where I had um, discharge that looked kind of like snot. Um, and it might have had like a little bit of red in it, but not too much. And then the other time I had white discharge and I thought it was like a milk egg white cervical mucus but I don't think it was I think it was just the depot leaving my body and as the depot leave your body you will have um, a lot of discharge or different types of discharge just do your research and don't be alarmed so I take them three times a day to give me a chance of starting my period probably by the end of May. Um, my cousin just got her implant removed for her um, birth control because she's trying to have a baby as well. It took her from February to April in order to actually have a period. So I'm hoping that mine comes at the beginning of May or at end of May. But if it doesn't, then I'm going to stop. I'm going to take this for three weeks. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to stop. Um, and that's mainly because in the three weeks, if it doesn't work, then it won't work. I actually ordered online a big box of this. I'll be taking this regardless. Um, and I'll be taking the milk diesel, prenatal, and ovulation test regardless i just would stop taking the vitex and don quay because if it doesn't start working for you within that amount of time then it's not going to work vitex and don quay does not actually start a period it just makes it come quicker so if i do not get a period within the next two weeks because i've been taking it for a week i will stop taking it and i'll just let my body naturally run its course and again like i said i'll be taking the prims oil the milk diesel prenatal and the tea so those are four things that i would continue doing so i'm doing about nine right now so i'll keep y'all updated thank y'all for watching peace and baby dust